Are you tired of spending tons of time removing the background on photos for YouTube thumbnails, for social media graphics, for whatever it may be? Obviously, it's a tedious task and nobody likes to do it. So I've got a solution for you right now that is free, that will remove the background on images for you in five seconds, no strings attached. This is something that I've basically learned about through my Patreon services where I coach big creators with millions of subscribers on how to succeed on YouTube, on Twitch, on Facebook, etc. And a bunch of them were using this product called remove.bg. Enough talking about it, let me just show you what it does. This is an Instagram selfie that I took of me in my studio with some acoustic paneling. See the paneling background's very simple, bam. It just completely removed the background pretty much flawlessly, drag and drop. This is not an advertisement. This is not an affiliate link. I'm not paid by these people to show this to you. I'm just trying to help you. And notice how it just pretty much flawlessly removed the background on this photo. It even handled my blonde hair really well, as you can see, which is difficult in terms of background removal. Let me show you another example of a professional photograph. This is an employee photo that's very filtered. It handles this very filtered photograph well. Notice how it has sort of a greenish tint, this photograph, which kind of spills over into my skin with all the sunlight. It does a really good job still, despite the filtering of this photograph, removing the background. Let's go ahead and download it and just check and see if there's any artifacts and garbage. No. Look how well it handles my hair. Like, frizzy hair is so tough to remove background on, and it just does a great job here. But wait, this platform is not Perfect. It's called remove.bg. Let me show you some of the limitations of this platform. It is not perfect. This is a selfie in my studio showing off my new streaming setup. And notice how it kept the headrest in here on the back of my chair and a little artifact down here, which is like a cable in the background in my studio. So 90% of the background removal was completed by remove.bg, but this little part I would have to Photoshop out later. So it is not perfect.